Hi Taurus, this is Rose Burnett from Mind, Body, Soul, Balance and this is your mid-month reading for May 2018. So it covers from around about the 15th to the 31st of May. Yeah? So it is a general reading, take from it what you will and uh, if you want a personal reading with me, attune to your own energy and circumstances, the link is on this video and in the description box below. I do have a special running for May, so if you want a 30 minute reading with me, it's just $50. Yeah, So link is below if you want to take up that offer. And uh, for your mid-month, I'm actually going to give you some detailed guidance So uh, for the next two weeks. So first up, we're going to be starting with the uh, Goddess Guidance deck. And uh, well, let's see what you need to know, Taurus. Now, I am filming outside, so you can hear a bit of background noise. Mostly birds. Uh, yeah. So first up, you pulled Diana, Focused Intention. Yeah, so... It's about focusing on your goals and your dreams, taking the steps you're guided to take. Uh, when you do that, you will hit your mark. All right, what else does Taurus need to know? Mm, you pulled my Eve, cycles and rhythms. So very important to listen to your energy levels in the next two weeks. Know when uh, it's time to take a little rest and put your feet up and uh, also know when you're guided to take action, yeah? Kind of like your yin and your yang. We know when to receive and know when to uh, push through and take action towards your goals and dreams. Yeah. Mm. Also came out for Pisces. Uh, nematoma, sacred space. It's about creating a sacred space in your home or where you can meditate, contemplate, have that quiet time out. Connect with a sacred space or somewhere spiritual where uh, you can connect with your spirituality, connect with the divine. Release any stresses or worries to the divine, your archangels, your higher spirit guides, yeah. It's going to be so helpful in uh, terms of releasing any anxiety in the next two weeks. All right, what else does Taurus need to know? Because mm. right next to that, and I have to be honest with you, it's come out for a lot of signs, so I'm not sure what's going on in the universe in the next two weeks, but past life, ISIS old memories coming up and surfacing so it's not about pushing those memories down it's stuff that needs to be released if it's coming up it's coming up for a reason but you need to let it go yeah one way to do that is just release it out to spirit and nature and the divine yeah because right next to that you've got malu mother earth there's your advice yeah feet on the ground feet on the ground taurus um, balance and ground yourself. All right, let's pull you some guidance from the uh, crystal reading deck and see what comes up for you. This is actually a healing crystal deck, so it often provides the guidance on what needs to be released or healed, yeah? What does Taurus need to know? Mm. Underneath your ideas and your projects and taking focused intent, you've got Tiger's Eye Courage. Go after what it, want, what it is that you want, Taurus. Just go after it. Have the courage to follow your ideas and your dreams. Mm. So you've got uh, Rose Quartz, Inner Child. So this can mean a couple of things. It can mean getting uh, more in touch with your inner child. Um, bringing in more of your creative side, having more fun and adventure. It can also mean that you need to do some healing around your inner child because often life experiences, particularly negative ones, it can be to do with family, it can be to do with romances, it tends to dent our inner child. We kind of lose a bit of confidence, a uh, little bit of self-love and self-worth and it's about building yourself back up and healing that inner child so that... Um, you can follow those hopes and dreams with just absolute courage and faith in yourself, yeah? Mm, when you do that and when you uh, spend that time in self-care and self looking after yourself because sitting under sacred space, so don't forget to do some manifestation practices. When you have the courage to follow your hopes and your dreams, you've got success coming. And it also means that if you've already been following them and you've been taking the steps you've been guided to take and you've been putting in a lot of effort, um, success is coming, yeah? So don't give up. <laughs> that one so flew out. Mm. You've got sunstone, empowerment. Step into your empowerment, not only courage. Be empowered 
um, accept all parts of yourself that want to go forward in terms of following whatever it is that lights you up from your heart space and your soul light and your big goals and your big dreams. Um, yeah, own them, own them. Right next to success. Mm. <laughs> I'm laughing because this is sitting under Mother Earth. Hematite, grounding, it's exactly what I said. You need to balance and ground yourself. Um, and the and the reason I say that is, oh, well, apart from you've got the guidance here that says to you to balance and ground yourself, you're going to be able to stand in your strength absolutely when you do that. Emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually, ground yourself, and balance yourself. Then you'll be able to cope with anything coming at you, yeah? All right, let's pull you some specific guidance from the Energy Oracle deck. What is it that Taurus needs to know? Mm, so true. You've pulled the seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. It's your connection to the divine, your connection to your spirituality. So important. I'm not surprised because you've also pulled uh, meditation. <laughs> right next to that, you've pulled Temple Path. So your spirituality, your connection to spirit. Um, putting your cares and your worries out to the divine, your archangels, your highest spirit guide is, is your uh, answer to any stresses and or anxieties coming up. It's the answer to healing your inner child because it's sitting right below that. And it is your guidance in terms of what's going to help you be empowered. My cards are just flying out. <laughs> Every single card I'm telling you is about spirit. Daughter, spirit is opening. Your spirituality is rising. It's going to be so important to your success because you've got nematoma, sacred space. In between that, you've got success and you've got the daughter spirit underneath that, right? Right next to temple path, right next to your seventh chakra. And let me show you this. <laughs> you've also pulled your sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron, your intuition. Trust your intuition. It's sitting right under empowerment as well as past life. Um, wow. I have actually not seen in any reading that I have done so far so many cards come out about your spirituality. It's off the charts. Off the charts. Wow. Wow. kind of silenced me a bit I'm like wow I'm just in awe mm, okay watch out for this so garden in the gates and procrastination um, the way to deal with this procrastination is to balance and ground yourself because it's sitting under mother earth so if you're feeling a bit stuck you need to get yourself unstuck yeah because you've got everything here that says that when you have the courage to step through that gate success is waiting it's all about your life path your life purpose i don't see anything here about love and romance um the next two weeks is all about your goals and your intentions and your dreams yeah step out from behind the gate taurus all right such a clear message i'm going to pull your crowning energy from uh the Kunyin oracle deck and let's see what you need to know. Mm. Okay. You pulled the Sisters of the Sun Rising. And let me show it to you one more time. It's quite beautiful. And what it says, Taurus, is you are a highly creative being with the potential to raise the vibration of consciousness on this planet through your creative projects, work, dreams, and hobbies. Well, hello. <laughs> the power of collaboration, choosing to work with others in joint projects, allows for synergy to occur when you can grow stronger and become more than the sum of your individual parts, calling in great cosmic assistance and potency. You are being guided to remain open to other souls joining forces with you. Just like the Sisters of the Sun Rising that bring great energy to help humanity through their group endeavours. When you allow for aligned group effort, much that is wonderful can occur. It is an important part of the spiritual journey to learn who you are and how you work. 
and often solitary work is a helpful way to do this. Yet there are times when you are strong enough to work with others without losing yourself or your unique approach to creative endeavours. Collaboration is suggested for you now to allow you to expand your horizons, to meet more people, share your light and have more fun. Your collaborations may be with spiritual guides or with souls incarnated and coming to life in the form of colleagues, friends and helpers now. Trust your instincts and be discerning in what you accept and what you let pass by. There will be plenty of opportunities for you as you are open to them. But do trust yourself enough to take a leap in some risks that feel uplifting for you in reaching out and accepting the offers of others to work together. Sisters of the Sun Rising know that the light can go grow strong when souls join together in creative endeavours, allowing different flavours of the divine to come through in each project, making it richer than it would be with one flavour alone. This oracle is also guidance to remain true to yourself in collaborative efforts. You may be struggling between compromise and staying true to who you are and how you work. You don't need to compromise. You do need to honour your boundaries and the boundaries of others and trust when you are meant to work together. You will find a way not to compete but to complement and perhaps also complement each other so you can shine together. The Sisters of the Sun Rising are calling to you to find ways to not to diminish yourself in collaboration with others but to become more of yourselves together. This oracle also indicates that in any relationship you have right now, there is healing taking place. And if you look for the win-win solution, no matter how tricky that may be to find the wisdom at first, it is there to be found. And you will successfully have collaborated as souls finding healing. Well done. And there's an affirmation here and what it says to finish off your reading, Taurus, is Beloved sisters of the sun rising, sweet sister Kun Yin, thank you for your help now in opening my heart fearlessly with confidence, faith, friendliness, firm boundaries and an open mind to be inspired, supported and helped in making successful collaborative creations. May all such relationships be blessed in my life now. Oh, Manny, paid me hum. Wow, Taurus, you got some very clear guidance in this reading. If you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you've already subscribed, you're rocking awesome and I so appreciate the beautiful comments. I really do. They touch my heart. Um, and don't forget, if you want a personal reading with me, link is on this video and in the description box below. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste.